Welcome back to Guns and Gear Network. I appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a handcrafted leather sheath from an eBay seller, ALS Crafts. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. I want to do this quick video for you. Uh, it's more of a shout out than it is a review, but we'll call it a review. Um, so I, if you follow my channel, I recently did a review of this knife that came with this sheath. And this sheath was pretty nice, and I said that in the video, as far as some of the sheaths that come with knives, a lot of times they're junk. This one was actually pretty decent, to be honest with you. Wasn't terrible, uh, serviceable. So, but I just didn't like it as good as a custom one. I wanted a, a matter of fact, this is a vertical, so it would fit on your belt like this. And I wanted a heart, what's called a horizontal, that goes on your belt like this. So I dug a little digging around and I found this guy on eBay that goes by ALS Crafts. And I'll have a link to his store in the section below down there. So when I contacted him, uh, very nice people, by the way, just great uh, customer service, fast to answer questions and emails, that kind of thing. So when I t showed him kind of what I had based on, I think, a link or a picture or something, um, he recommended... Um, uh, one of his sheaths that he makes sheaths specific to popular knives so the one he recommended to me was the buck 113 he thought that would uh, fit this one and so he sent it to me it did not fit it was very loose to fit this knife here so I contacted him he said no problem he said just send it back and if you can draw me a template so what that means is I had to lay the knife down trace around it and then turn it up on its edge and then draw the width of the handle itself sent it to him uh, a couple days later he got it sent me an email said he had gotten the knife blah 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 uh, said he would knock it out pretty quick and get it back to me and all that took I don't know week to ten days at the most total turnaround by the time I shipped it back he built it and sent it back so now it fits great but if you're looking for a nice handcrafted uh, leather sheath for a knife I highly recommend going to this guy's site you might already have a knife that he has uh, built uh, a sheath for uh, he will do custom I think if you want to contact him and ask him that question he, he did this he didn't really do this custom I mean, he did, but I know was I didn't request it at first, so it was kind of one of those he thought it would fit, it didn't, so he wound up doing it. I'm sure if you ask him, he would. So price point on this one, this is another thing that attracted me uh, to this guy. Total uh, for the sheath was uh, thirty three forty nine, including shipping. So that is really great value if you go and on the internet and start pricing uh, handmade leather sheaths, uh, especially in this horizontal design and stuff. He he's get, rings a good value, good craftsmanship. Um, I like it uh, a lot as far as the look. And this one is ambidextrous. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter if you want to wear it with going, pulling out this way or pulling out this way left or right handed. So, and what you want to look for, this one was a little snug when I first got it and you'd rather have it tight. Leather will stretch. Uh, but if you watch this, you push it in, it hear that little pop at the end. So that's what you're kind of looking for. Like that. See, also, look at, I always, I know leather because I do some leather craft myself and um, teaching my son some of that. If you look, there's a gusset right here. And what that does is it protects your stitching uh, from getting cut. But I'm pretty sure that's hand stitched. I'm not certain that is. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's hand stitched and not machine stitched. I could be wrong. Uh, to me, it looks more indicative to hand stitched. Um, but a lot of detail work. Uh, this particular pattern is called, I think, Dragon Scale. So they tool this into the leather. Really pretty design. I like the uh, colors where he kind of made the edge a little darker than he did the center really good looking uh, knife sheath and i'll show you how it works so and i will tell you this once you put it on your belt it starts getting tighter because of the pressure it's going to create uh with the leather pushing up against the uh, the sheath so it would go on like this and you come in here and then push the knife in and that's why it would sit on a belt 
A lot of the guys that are on horseback, a lot of you cowboy guys like this style. It's much easier to get to. You can get it over out of the way. It doesn't uh, dig into your side. Uh, one thing I do not recommend is wearing it completely around the small of your back. That's very dangerous when you wear anything in the small of your back, such as a gun, knife, whatever. If you would get uh, fall and land on your back, that's, uh, that's a lot of hard uh, metal and things that just uh, can cause some spine damage. So I, I don't recommend that. I mean, it kind of looks cool when you draw it from your back of your, behind your back. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think, I don't recommend it. I would recommend putting it off to one side or the other. And then you decide again, if you wanted to, this is, I'm kind of showing it being on right handed. And then you just pull from this, or if you want to pull it where it's going this way, you just simply reverse it, and then you could do like a cross draw. So you could draw it out with your left hand if you wanted to do that. But anyway, guys, just wanted to kind of briefly show you that real quick. If you again are interested, ALS Crafts, we'll put the section in the section below down there a link to his store. Contact him, tell him you saw uh, his knife uh, sheaths on uh, Guns and Gear Network channel, uh, and just let him know that uh, we're shouting out for him. But anyway, guys, appreciate you uh, viewing. If you got any questions, post those below. If you got any uh, experience with this particular eBayer, uh, be sure to chime in and let us know that. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.